The Shawshank Redemption is based off of the story Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption, Hope Springs Eternal. You can probably guess why they chose to shorten the title. It was published in the book Different Seasons, which is a collection of four novels, short novels, that is, with a theme revolving around the seasons. This is the spring story, hence its subtitle. It's very much unlike most of King's work. It's not horror, science fiction, or fantasy, and is fully grounded in reality. It's a story of Andy Dufresne, a man wrongly accused and convicted of a double murder and sentenced to life in prison. It chronicles his life in Shawshank Prison, the trials he has, as well as his influence over the other inmates and various guards and wardens in his 27 years in the prison, and ends with his remarkable escape by using a tiny hammer to dig a tunnel through his cell wall, covering it up with a girly poster. Before you can cry bullshit and say that this is unbelievable even for the 60s when the escape took place in the book, let me tell you that a Shawshank Redemption-style prison break really did take place, and it happened in 2007. Though the people who did that were eventually recaptured, they proved that it could indeed happen. The novel was a pretty amazing piece of writing. It's a prison drama that paints a very realistic picture of prison life. While Andy makes friends and has some good times, even becomes somewhat of an important figure as far as inmates go, it doesn't shy away from the harsh realities of beatings, prison rape, corruption, and other abuses and horrors, not to mention the dangers of becoming institutionalized. The film is actually better. Now, as I've said before, the books are usually better than the movies. When the movie is better than the book, it's usually because the original story wasn't really anything great, and the film just entertained a lot better. But in this case, the story is great, and the movie is fucking fantastic. There's a great cast, with the stars being Tim Robbins, Morgan Freeman, and a host of others. Though, of course, it's Morgan Freeman who steals the show. Interestingly enough, in the novella, his character, Red, was described as an Irish guy with red hair. Obviously, Morgan Freeman is not an Irish guy with red hair. But with only minor adjustments to the script, they make it work really well, and I'll gladly accept the racial swap to have such a powerful actor in the role. Everything about the film is just perfect. The settings, the narration, the atmosphere, the score, and the way that the novella is superbly adapted. Not painstakingly recreated, but expanded in some parts, constricted in others. It works much better as a movie, that's all. It has some of the most iconic scenes ever seen on film. For example, anyone who's seen it will always remember the striking visual of Andy after he reaches freedom, with his hands held to the sky as rain falls down on him. Or the final shot in the movie, where Andy and Red are reunited on a beach in Mexico. Though the movie got rave reviews, very few people went to see it. It was barely any kind of success. It only just made its budget back. But it's one of those films that just started slow, and as it hit video, and eventually cable and television, more and more people got to see it. Today, it's considered one of the greatest movies of all time. Actually, right now, as I'm recording this in early January, it has the distinction of being the best movie of all time, according to IMDb. Just so you know what the other films it's sharing space with, the rest of the top ten are The Godfather, The Godfather Part Two. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, Pulp Fiction, Schindler's List, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Twelve Angry Men, The Dark Knight, and The Empire Strikes Back. All amazing films, but according to the general population, The Shawshank Redemption is better. I can't help but agree. While it's not my favorite movie of all time, maybe I'll talk about that one someday, but if I was to make a list of my favorites, it would definitely be on there, and I think it's easily the best film based on a Stephen King work. If I were king, I'd be insanely proud to have one of my stories turned into such a magnificent film, and I'm sure he is. Ironically, the film's star, Tim Robbins, he hasn't had much of an amazing career, that you would expect after this role, at least. He mostly appeared in comedies after this. Morgan Freeman, though, well, of course he had a decent career before, but he really became a big star after this, appearing in Seven, Amistad, Bruce Almighty, Million Dollar Baby, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and Invictus, just to name a few. That's how to give an already decent career a real shot in the arm. I can't stress this enough. This is one of those movies that you will love, and if you don't, well, what the hell is wrong with you? I give The Shawshank Redemption a perfect 10.